Oh, gosh. Well, guys, I've been in the process of trying to get this computer fixed, and I think I've got the upper hand on it. I'll just tell you this. This was ugly. Um, this uh, Vista Security Center 2012. This thing is a malware virus. Or just malware, whatever you want to call it. But it's bad. Um, so, I ended up having to get another computer to assist me in this process because this one just you know the way this thing this virus works is malware or whatever you want to call it I call it a virus I you know label it technically as something else but I'm just gonna call it a virus but the way this thing works is yet um, pretty much you know I laugh people that say something's taken over but that's about right that's what this did it took it it pops up all these pop-ups which that's one thing but the worst thing about it is it prevents you from doing any kind of executables uh, anything that you could do to kind of like wipe it out or get it under control which I learned quickly dealing with this there's no getting it under control unless you have some real uh, specialized programs here but it won't let you search things on the internet to possibly eliminate it it won't let you go to those websites. It won't let you do a system restore anymore. It just, you know, it's very self-protective. And so what I did is I bought this cheap old laptop, this poor little thing. It's a 286. It's a Latitude, Dell Latitude. I don't know. It's about 10 years old. But it works slowly, but it works. And um, the one thing that I was concerned about if I started searching for ways to get rid of that virus is that I was going to get one on this one, you know, because there's a lot of sites out there that will fake you out, you know, they'll advertise, oh, we'll eliminate it here, eliminate, it, you know, whatever, and then what it is, that's a, that's a, it's giving it to you. So I want to be sure that I was getting the real deal. So what I did was, the first thing I did is I went ahead and installed a vast, I guess that's how you're going to pronounce that. Went ahead and installed that on this computer and got it up and running so that hopefully it would catch anything. And I hadn't had any problems at it. I hadn't had any, even had any alerts, so that's good. So what I did was I did a search on Google. I just used, uh, I just started putting in some kind of generic terms, how to remove. And what I did was I was real careful about where I went. I started looking for a forum and people talking about this thing and it's pretty easy to find this obviously this this spyware program is is quite prevalent now and i found a recent four different forums i don't know what which one it was but it, these people were talking about it in there and they're talking about well go to this site here uh this site and they have the instructions and more you know i, I made sure that like several people echoed that that it wasn't just one person saying that and a lot of people reckon this is the way they you know this this place here had the the cure so to speak so the first thing i did is i went ahead and went to this page here i'll let you read the address that's the address there went to this page and i'm not going to read you every bit of this at all because i don't have time to go through it it's pretty extensive but kind of back out here so I'm using Google Chrome on this laptop first time I've ever used this and I guess it's okay but just to show you this is a kind of this is a screenshot here of the, the crap that comes up on the computer you know so if you see this this type of stuff here you're in trouble and see a couple of weeks ago I told you about this that I had this and now I'm not trying to copy their page here, their information on their page. You need to go to their page and read this, use their page. I'm just kind of showing you. Um, this is some of the stuff that, you know, you read there. That's the kind of stuff it, it says, on the, it'll say on your computer. So, and it pops things up and pops things up and pops things up. On and on and on. So, anyway, if you run into this thing, you're going to know what happened. So, pretty quick. And... You know, like I said, I'm not going to, this is just an overview. But what I had to do is I had to read through these instructions, and I had to end up, I had to get a flash drive. I got a very large one, an 8 gig. 
Those things are cheap now. I got 8 gig flash drive printed in the room on it. What I ended up having to do, I had to run this laptop on the internet. It's connected to the internet. And I had to download all these fix programs on, onto the computer here. And then you can see what all I've been downloading. That's my so give me an idea here. Um, all this stuff I had to download these things repeatedly, different programs, and it leads you through here. It tells you which ones to download. Like one of them is the first one was a as a it was supposed to fix a registry, some registry stuff. Which I'm not a computer man really very much, and you guys that are really into it, y'all know all about registry and keys and all that stuff. And I don't know jack about it. I know it's just something basically something to do with how the computer i mean it's it's deep down stuff that operates the computer operating system so when you got problems with the registries and stuff like that you you're into it pretty bad so anyway the first thing i had to download is i had to download this program to try to fix that so i did that and tried transferring it and if you've ever done that basically you have your flash drive in one computer and you what it is i downloaded a, pro, a program excuse me and then I found it once it downloaded and they always ask you if you want to make sure you want to download it and you say yes if you're sure where it comes from and the way Google Chrome works here it's got this downloads oh, I hit something this thing is very sensitive I don't like laptops but because you can hit stuff before you know it and it's gone it's hard to use I don't know why anybody likes a laptop but uh anyway so i had to download it and then you see on here on google chrome it says showing folder well there's a folder here download folder i'll show you that so bring that up look how much latency this thing has poor thing so it gets into my folder here my downloads folder and you can see what i've got in here and so each one this was the first one this uh fix ncr but basically what you do is you get you have your flash drive in here and then in this computer the one that you're trying to transfer stuff off of and then you put it you get on here and you right click the highlight this and right click it and it'll give you an option where to send it you send it to in this case the flash drive was e drive and uh, i sent it to it so it transfers it off here onto that drive and then i just put the drive in over here on the other computer the main one and this one's a lot faster and quicker about reading the drive and stuff like that. This one goes through some steps, you know, it's just kind of clunky, but this one reads it right away and it pops a box up and asks you what you want to do with it. So what you want to do is you just do the same thing. You'll have a box of sorts up here and it'll, you know, it'll say E drive or G drive. It was G on this computer. And so what I do is I open G drive and it has all these programs, whichever ones I've loaded on it over here. And I right click those and I send them to the desktop over here and then that's 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 the basically the package to, to load it and run it and everything like that so that's how you do that that's how because this thing wouldn't like I said it wouldn't let me do jack shit it would just block the internet block everything so I was screwed so and I'll tell you what this thing this is the closest thing to an exorcism I've ever been involved with it's just like it I'm just waiting for you know something with a deep voice, a demon with a deep voice to uh, tell me it's an excellent day for an exorcism. So anyway, back to this. So what I did was I followed all their steps and they gave me several different programs that I had to unload onto that drive one at a time and get over here and run. The first one was, uh, now like I said, I know I sound like an amateur at this and you guys have been through this, you know exactly what this is, but those of you that don't, this is good to know. First one I had to use was called, uh, well, let me just say this. This fix NCR, that register entry thing, that didn't work. That didn't do anything. That's supposed to that's supposed to kind of give it a kick in the pants to kind of keep it from interfering with you. Like if you want to go ahead and try to connect up the Internet and just download this stuff directly, it wouldn't work for me. I couldn't do that. It wouldn't work at all. So those didn't work. So I had to go on to this R-Kill and... Um, that's an exe file and this this virus is designed to, to block these exe files any of them from running so i had to 
fight with it to get it to work. I actually had to go back. They had several different this site. And, and let me just say this page here gives you all the page links so it tells you where to go. But I actually had to end up getting another one. Uh, let's see. This is the second one. The first one I tried, it's called e I Explore. And this computer over here gave me all kinds of crap. The infected one, it didn't want to run it. It kept blocking it. And, and McAfee tried to block it and stuff. So I had a, what it is, it's faking it out. It's calling it a screensaver. So the first time I tried to run that R kill, I just tried to run it directly off the E drive and it would not work. So I had to go ahead, as you'll see here, and put it on the desktop, which it is right, uh, right there. So it's there. If it ever happens again, I got that. So that's good. So that you run that thing, and it tries. It basically, the layman's term I would use is it fights with it to get it to. It tries to. What it does, it ends. It finds those processes in the registry that's causing all that crap to happen, and it ends them. And it comes up a little dialog box, and it just runs through it, and you know, this stuff starts popping up and going away, and then, then finally, when it did that it straightened up so but you can't close that or kill you can't you cannot close well you can't let me say this the right way so you know you, once our kill runs you cannot go and uh, reboot the computer because if you do all that crap starts up again so you have to just let it sit there after it's finished and the next thing I had to do is I had to get this it's called uh, this is a it's called TDSS killer it's like a root kit you see what it is root kit removing it's also another good program, so I had to do the same thing all over again. I had to load it to the drive, had transferred over here, load it on this computer, get it up to the desktop, and then one thing about that you have to do is you have to, when it's on the E drive or the G drive, when it's still sitting there after you've transferred it, but the computer sees it and it's asking you what you want to do with it, you have to uh, you have to rename it before you even move it onto the desktop because it the site says that it won't work it won't let it work so what I did I just named it what it recommended 123.com but I named it like I said I named it over on the dialog box don't wait till you get over here because that little won't work because the name won't match and it won't run it so I uh, got over here I ran that thing and it's it's a scanner and it runs through and it tries to find those root kits that's some sort of a virus thing, thing that attaches to a virus I guess and it found one and it asks you, uh, it'll finally stop and ask if you want to cure it. And that's okay, but if it ever, you can go ahead and do that and then it has to reboot the computer. So I did that, but if it ever stops and it says it's on something and it says that it doesn't say cure, it says just like continue or something like that, you need to keep running it till it can try to cure it. If you got something that can't cure, then you're probably in trouble big time. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen to you. But anyway, so once I did that, the last thing this page, this uh, this my bleeping computer page recommended about this, it said run malware bytes. So I did the same thing. I did like four different pro five different programs. I got malware bytes loaded over here and got that set up so I can run it, scan it, and that's on demand. I got the free one. I didn't get the pro. And then the last thing I've done is I went ahead and done what I should have done two weeks ago and was stupidly not doing is I went ahead and got uh, Avast, Avast, I'm sorry, Avast. Did the whole download transfer thing back over to this computer and got it over here and it's up and running now. And I'm not even connected to this computer to the internet yet. Um, it's still connected over here. So I, like I said, I'm going to run this. This this ain't gonna happen again. I'm having a vast run all the time. So and this was this was hell. I mean, this is why people that have this stuff happen mostly most of the time they take it to have somebody fix it for them. I think my brother just had to have his fixed. So you know, this was this was rough. I wouldn't want to have to do this anytime soon. And I, you guys that make a living at doing this, you're probably a lot quicker at it than I am. But ugh. So, but it's my fault. I've learned some hard lessons recently. Uh, it was my fault for not listening to you guys and getting that vast on there. You're right, and I should have done it. I actually, this is bad enough. I had, you know, I had to hit the hard stuff to deal with this. Which, there it is, right there, the cookies. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm gonna 
get this thing back and connect up the internet and once you see these videos coming you know I got her cured but this is just a very rough overdraft of how this process happens and when you're not when you're not smart enough to uh, keep an antivirus on your computer once again there's the web address now they've got this they don't this is not just for this Vista Security 2012 they've got several they've got several uh, they've got a, well they got a whole category of virus removal stuff but this this is a trusted site so go to it if you would and uh, well, I'll say this much big hands big uh, hats off to of these guys that put all this stuff together for free because you know this is a great thing you're doing you know there's it's too bad that there's people in the world that are rotten enough people that they just want to take advantage of folks who aren't hurting anybody else and just want to enjoy their internet you know but there are there are people that do that and they'll probably burn in hell if they don't get their ass on the right track at some point you know but that's up to them well guys my battery lights flashing I gotta go so I'm gonna get on with this and we'll see you guys in another video have a good one